Hello everyone, nice to see you again. My name is Mariana and today we're going to speak about things you can do with the Tesla app. So right now this car is connected to my phone with the VIN number and my email address so I can control everything on this car just with my iPhone. So this is the home screen of the app. I can see information about the car, the name, the range I have available, the battery that I have available I, and I can also see um, the car in the same color as this one with the same wheel caps on. So right beside the car um, there are some quick functions for um, an air conditioning and ventilation system. I can open the frunk and I can lock and unlock the car easily. I can also use my phone as a phone key so I don't have any traditional key and I don't have to use the card. It's enough just to have the phone in my pocket and when I get close to the car I just press the handle and the car will unlock because it will detect the phone nearby. I can also use the phone to start the car. I just sit on the driver's seat and that's it, I'm ready to go. Also I have um, climate control settings so I can uh, set the temperature inside. I can uh, turn on the uh, heated seats if it's needed for all the five seats available. Let me turn them off because it's summer and I don't need it. And I can also press turn off to turn off the air conditioning. Um, let's go back. I also have a quick control panel so I can again lock and unlock the car. I can use the flash function so I can see the car in dark parking places. So if it's light outside, I can use the hook so I know where the car is. I can also start the car from here. So let's say I want to borrow this car to a friend and I'm miles and miles away, maybe in another country, I can start the car for him, I can unlock it and he will drive where it's needed. Again, I have a function for a front trunk or the front and for the trunk so I can unlock it. Let's say someone forgot his backpack. So even if I'm in Germany and the car is in Romania, I can unlock the trunk from, uh, from distance. I have the valet mode function so I can uh, uh, give this car to a valet and he will uh, park this car for me. And I can also set some speed limits and power limits so will not do anything crazy. The car will limit its power. I also have sentry mode activated. So uh, the eight cameras you see around the car uh, can be used as security cameras and you can uh, have an USB memory stick plugged in in the USB port of the car and it will store the images. Also when I'm driving and that's a really cool feature. That came through over the air update. I also have charging options for this car so if I open the charging menu I can see the battery level, the range I have available and if I use this slider I can uh, uh, set the charging limit so this is the healthy setting mode so if I charge right there it's healthy for the battery so for daily use this is the setting recommended if i want to drive more i can uh, use the slider and uh, set the battery to 100 percent charging capability i'll move it right here on half side i can also see the location of the car where is it right now this is a really cool feature so if you borrow the car you can see where the car is i also like the summon function which i have available in the app so let's say you want to park in a really tight parking space or someone parked close to you and you don't have enough room to get in the car you can also use the summon function so basically you'll see your card in a 2d view and you have two buttons forward and reverse so let's say I want to get this car outside the parking space and I press the forward button and the car moves away. So now I can get inside. If I want the car to stop, I can um, release the finger. And I can also use the reverse function as well. And if the car detects any obstacle, it will automatically stop. So yeah, this is the position. Um, let's see what else I can do. I have schedule service. So if I want, I can schedule a, a, a check on this car if I want to replace some things and this will um, automatically uh, put me in uh, connection with the nearest uh, Tesla service that it is in Europe, for instance, there's no service in Romania. So I can uh, select the service uh, that I need, noise or vibration and stuff, and it will automatically connect me with the guy in charge. So this was a short walkthrough video with the Tesla app. I hope to see you again soon and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. See you next time.